happy summer and happy camping. Um, I am in our tent right now. I thought I would show you around our tent and show you how we fit our family of six, going to be family of seven, in one tent. Um, how we set it up. I have another video on my site, on my channel, that um, talks about, I show you how we pack for camping and it's a couple years old, but um, I've gotten questions, lots of questions, and one of them that came up was how do I fit us inside of our tent? So I tried explaining it in words, but I thought it would be a lot better if I could actually show you it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I am also planning on making a number of other videos about us camping um, during this trip. So if you're interested in any of those, I will put a playlist down below in the description box so you can check those out. So let me show you around our tent. Here's the entrance to our tent. This is a 10 person instant pop-up tent. So it's really easy to put up. It does come with this divider. Um, so you can separate it into two rooms, which we never do. Um, so it has a double entrance on this side. And then on the reverse, there is this other entrance. And then there are windows on all sides. It is a nice tent. Um, I think I already said it's a 10 person. We got this at Target many years ago. Um, and right now it suffices for our family of six. It will not forever as the kids get older. And as we are having another baby, I'm currently three months pregnant. Um, so this is my bed for my husband and myself. This is a king size bed that may seem very large, but it's what we originally had before we had kids and we've kept it. A big reason why we kept it was because um, we co-sleep with our babies. So when we've had infants up here and we have, um, I should tell you, our, our cur kids currently are nine and a half, seven and a half, almost six, and three and a half um, and we have been camping this is our 14th summer in a row that we have been camping so I have been camping with our family and I went camping as a kid my husband went camping as a kid so we've grown up doing it but I have been all stages of pregnant <laughs> camping as well as we have all had all stages and phases and ages of kids camping as well in our family from a 10 day old infant all the way up now until a nine and a half year old. So that's kind of our experience thus far. We've had toddlers and multiple toddlers and yeah, so we've we've um, grown up camping. Our kids have grown up camping. So I just wanted to explain that a little bit as well. So like I said, our kids when they're babies will co-sleep with us here. And so we liked having the king size bed because it gave us extra room in the middle there that we would put the baby. It also helped a lot um, with cold nights because it was easier to keep our baby warm at night if they were in bed with us because I don't know about you but my babies will not keep hats on their heads, beanies, um, so they would get really cold so they'd end up cuddled up next to me. It also just made it a lot easier nursing in the night anyways. Um, and I would put like socks on their hands as mittens because they wouldn't keep actual mittens on and double up their sleepers and put sleep sacks on and all that good stuff. And still the best place for them was in here in bed with us. That's how we kept them the warmest. So our intention was before we got surprised with this pregnancy was we were going to be downsizing this to a queen mattress because we don't have any kids sleeping in the bed with us now and we didn't think we were going to anymore. Um, so that would have given us more room in the tent. But as we have another baby coming up the ranks we're going to be keeping that. All right. So over in this corner, this is where our three and a half year old son is. He is on a cot. So that is just like a little toddler cot. We've had it for other purposes. And I just kind of like having him on that. It keeps him up off the ground a little bit, um, easier to see at night. Um, so he won't stay in that forever, but for now it works out really well. And there's a little bit of space under the cot. I can squeeze small items. So I should tell you also underneath his bed, our bed and our girls' beds, there are blankets and sometimes multiple blankets. And that is to help um, the cold air that seeps up from underneath the ground not get into the air mattresses and all that because you can get really cold at night camping in a tent with the air seeping up from underneath. So we try to put a barrier there between us and our air mattress or as these girls have an air pad. And I still put one under his. I just do it as a precaution. I also have one on the bottom of his cot before I have a sleeping bag. So he has a blanket, a sleeping bag, and then his 
other blanket. Um, my girls have these light speed um, air. What are they? Light speed mattress pad things. They self inflate, but you can also blow them up here, and then they roll up fairly small, fairly. Um, so my girls each have one of those. Then they also have a sleeping bag and a blanket. My kids do not necessarily stay in their sleeping bags very well, so it's important for me to have a blanket for them as well to keep them extra warm. And it's just kind of a comfort from home as well. Now, the air, the, the pads under these are all the same length that goes down to there, but if you notice, they're staggered. I actually fold under these two because those are my smaller girls. Um, so that it gives us a little bit more of a walkway coming in here. Otherwise, we wouldn't have much of a walkway at all. So this is my oldest daughter, so she kind of seems reversed. You'd think you'd want your youngest sleeping right next to you, but I have my oldest so that it can be staggered on our way to the door. So they each have that. And then over on this side of the tent, we have a suitcase for my husband and myself, and we have everything packed and if you've seen any of my packing videos, um, I do things in packing cubes. So his are all those ones. Mine are there. And then we have sweatshirts. And then I have another one. And all my kids are in here. They each have their own colored packing cube. That's how I can fit all four of them into one. This is a larger packing cube with all of the whole family's swim suits and rash guards and all that good stuff. Then right here is our toiletry duffel. So it has... The whole family's toiletries, all types of medicines, sunscreens, um, hair products, anything you can imagine that's a toiletry type thing is in there. So keep it all in there. And then this lovely thing over here is like the best thing ever. Oh, I'll first tell you that's a bag with shoes in it. So we just have that in the corner. But this is our commode for the tent. And it's awesome. So this is an actual... <laughs> portable toilet. Um, my mother-in-law purchased it for me as, I almost want to say a wedding gift. It was either that or when I first came up pregnant. Um, it was a gift from her. So I don't know where she got it. I will try to find one online and link it below, but it is awesome. I just use um, like hefty bags that are like the blackout ones. So they're supposed to be a little thicker and help with the smells. So I have one bag for every single day of the week um because i change it out once daily and then inside i sprinkle some cat litter and this is like an extra light supposed to be like a fresh scented cat litter we don't have cats but this is what i bring up so i bring up a canister of this i sprinkle some in the bottom of the bag and that helps absorb the liquid and that's all that goes in here that's allowed in here is liquid um and we do, we do have flush toilets at the campgrounds here, but it is a little bit of a walk. And so this is for early mornings and late at night or the middle of the night if someone needs to go. And that's a lot of times me, especially when I'm pregnant, um, just don't want to get up and get out of the tent. And with the kids too, like especially early mornings, they really have to go. So um, this is, this is just for those cases. It's not just for any time of the day. And then I have some hand sanitizer there and I'll get some wipes as well. Um, that we use for that. So um, that's just our little commode area. And it really doesn't smell at all. Again, only liquid is going in there. The cat litter does help and changing it once a day also helps. And then I do have an entrance mat and rules of the tent are shoes have to come off here every single time you come in. So it helps to um, cut back on the dirt that's being drug into the tent by everyone. It doesn't eliminate it. Oh, and I forgot. One last thing up here, since we don't use this divider, I hang up a lamp, a lantern, and this is my first time with this one this year. The other ones we've used, you just pull it down and it actually lights up right away. This one you have a button, but um, I'm hoping this one's brighter than the other one. So that's pretty cool that it's a nice lamp for us in the center and it's just kind of hung there, but my husband does have to watch his head as he comes in here. So this is our camp setup and how we fit six people in here. Like I said though, this won't be forever for us because as the kids get bigger and as we have another baby on the way, it's gonna get more crowded in here for us. But this has worked very well for our family size for 
Uh, we got this tent when our third daughter had just been born. So this is our sixth summer using it. So it's held up well and it, this configuration has worked really, really well for us. Oh, I keep remembering different things. So here where my son's cot is, that is also where we have put a pack in place. So when we're in between stages of sleeping in bed with us and going to this cot, we've put a pack and play there and that has worked well for us also. It fits right in there. So that was another thing we've done. Good morning. It is the morning after our first night and I realized I missed a few things um, to tell you about the inside of our tent, how we set it up. And so I'm going to insert this at some point in the video you're watching um, and hopefully explain a couple things a little bit better. So I realized that I forgot to tell you <laughs> about our bedding here. We don't use, my husband and I do not use sleeping bags. We actually use a full bedding set. So I have a mattress pad, fitted sheet, regular flat sheet, a blanket, a kind of a fuzzy thicker blanket, and then a comforter on our bed. And that's how we sleep. Um, we just find it so much more comfortable um, when you're gonna be someplace long term. And it's also, um, for us, more versatile than having two large sleeping bags that we could zip together and make a bed out of that way, which is what my parents did growing up. Um, and we just don't want to store the large sleeping bags at home. It's actually easier for us to store this. Plus, if we ever needed another set of bedding at home for guests or something, we could pull out the air mattress and this whole bedding set and be able to use it. So it, and we have done that before. So it's kind of a double purpose thing for us. Like I said, it's good for us for like longer camping trips. We're going to be here for like a week or something like that because it is a bit to set up. If you're only going camping for a night or two at a location, it is a pain. And we have done it before because we just didn't want to buy the sleeping bags. We have done just single or two to three night stay places. And it is a bit of pain to set it up and take it down, but we've managed. We, we did it. <laughs> um, so... I just wanted to clarify what was on our bed. And then I remember I showed you this mat and sh told you that, oh, we take off our shoes when we come in the tent here. We don't do that. We actually have another entry mat on the other, the entrance to the tent outside. Everyone takes their shoes off outside to keep this whole area as clean as possible. The only time the shoes would be brought in is if it was gonna be raining or it was raining and we pulled them in to try to keep them drier. That's just a trash bag I try to keep a plastic bag of some sort. I collect them throughout the year. Obviously that's a hot dog. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a hot dog bag from buying hot dogs at Costco. So I just keep large bags like that so we can have them on hand while camping. So I wanted to really let you know that no, we do not actually bring the shoes inside. We leave them outside. Everyone tries, we try to keep shoes always outside if possible. And then I just want to give you a quick look at our tent after one night sleeping. Um, to show you. So this is what our tent looks like after having slept in it for a night. I, this is also after me kind of putting it back together. I try to do this every single morning unless we're trying to get out really early in the morning. Straighten up sleeping bags, blankets, make sure all parts of everyone's pajamas are together. My daughter did that for herself, but otherwise I just put them in a pile near the, um, their pillows if they needed fresh diaper because they wet through the one they wore, I get a fresh diaper out. And that just makes it, I mean, I my husband's are over there and mine are over there. So I do it for all of us. It just makes it so much easier at night when it's dark. People are tired to come in here and you know that your stuff is there and ready for you um, and ready for each child to just jump into bed. And then I also put my kids, one of their packing cubes at the bottom of their bed and they get pushed off in the middle of the night but this way they can dress themselves they can pick out so they have their shirts underwear socks and if they had any other pajamas are in these packing cubes so they can get themselves dressed pretty much we reuse jeans they pretty much only wear jeans up here because of getting you know hurt knees and things like that so they will throw their jeans at the bottom of their beds here overnight we reuse them for two days and then they go in the hamper and then they have another packing cube in the suitcase here that we will get a fresh pair of jeans out when it's the time for that and that's one way I can serve space. Um, I don't go past the two days at this point with the ages of my kids. Um, my older kids might be able to 
stretch it a little further, but the little ones, especially my son, I mean, they're sitting in the dirt. So they're getting really, really, really dirty. And just to kind of minimize dirt that gets into our car when we do go places. I mean, I know we're camping and you're like, that's part of being, going camping, but we still try to keep our things nice as much as possible. And if I can fit that many pairs of jeans in to the suitcase and manage that way, I'm going to. So at this point we're wearing them two times and then washing them. Eventually the older ones will hopefully go to three times before we wash them and that'll help conserve space even more. Um, oh, just one more thing, I think. So at night, this bag doesn't just stay there. That's just my bag that I had miscellaneous things in. There is a dirty clothes bag that we all use. At night, I throw all of our um, jackets that we use just on top of one of the suitcases, and that way they're easy to go. I only bring two jackets per person, again, to conserve on space. Um, I try to get away with only using one jacket the whole trip, but it does if we needed to double up. We do have the option of doubling up jackets if it got that cold or if they needed a jacket to wear to bed at night because they are too cold. We have that option as well. But I try to make do with just a jacket and keep one kind of clean and as an emergency backup. And that works fairly well also so that, again, conserving space and not having a ton more laundry to do at home because believe me, there's a laundry, a lot of laundry already as it is. So I think that was it that I wanted to tell you that I had forgotten in the previous part of this video that I had filmed yesterday when we arrived. So I'll get back to the rest of the video that I was filming yesterday now. So I hope this was helpful, showed you how we do it. Um, I will probably update this when we get a new configuration um, and eventually we're probably going to be getting a smaller tent for our older girls um, and let them kind of be off on their own and then we can still keep the little ones in here with us. Um, so that'll be sometime in the future when we feel comfortable with them being in another tent right now. It's really nice to have the whole family together. Um, yeah, so like I said also that um, I will be having other videos. Um, I'm gonna do my best to do them. I am very nauseous. I am throughout my entire pregnancy, so I'm gonna do the best I can while we're here. But I am hoping to show you around our campsite to show you how it's all set up. Um, show you what we do while we're camping and then also meals I'm hoping for I think those are the main videos that I was hoping to get out to you So like like I said if you're interested, I feel like I've said that phrase many times. Sorry if I have um, I will put a playlist um, Link down below and you can check that out if you have any questions leave those in the comments below um, And if you like this type of video, please hit the like button it um, lets me know the content you guys like as well as um, it helps my videos get seen more. My most popular video on my channel is how I pack for tent camping and so um, I know it's content, at least it seems like content that people would really like so it really helps if I can get some feedback as well. And if you'd like to not miss any videos, hit the subscribe button as well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!